Easy Saturday, low 50s. By Sunday, we could be back in the upper 60s, pushing 70 before a cold front drops in and uh, knocks us back in the 40s and 50s next week, guys. All right. Tom, Thank you, Tom. On. Well, you can find items from Springhouse Gardens at this year's Bluegrass Trust Antiques and Garden Show. And Richard's brought in a few plants already blooming. This is Richard. Hey. What you got there going? Hey, I brought some golden-themed plants. We've yeah. got two really very popular forsythias. They were named after a guy named Forsyth, but okay. most people in the States call it Forsythia instead of right. Forsythia. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is a really cool dwarf one that fits in, in today's smaller yards. This one is called Show Off. Okay. really like the clean flowers on this. It's going to stay probably about three to five feet tall, mm -hmm. whereas the one there by Yuli, that's called Magical Gold. That's the full size Forsythia that's going to get six, eight, maybe even ten feet tall. Oh, wow. And they typically will bloom starting in March. These are a little bit early. We got mm -hmm. these in early so we'd have things in full bloom right, for, the, for show. the show. Sure. But a couple of other things besides for Well, how long will this last, though? Out in the garden, as long as Tom doesn't send us any frosts and freezes, once they get going, they'll last for three weeks usually. So kind of like a life three. cycle of a tulip. Okay. Yeah, kind of. But these come back year after year after Early year. Early and then, yeah. One okay. of the cool things that you can do with these is if you have the bare branches with the buds getting ready to uh -huh. pop, mm -hmm. you can cut those, put them in a vase, and they'll bloom inside. Oh, so really? That's called forcing. You could force your forsythia. Yeah. Hmm, okay. But I also wanted to bring two different kinds of dogwoods. Everybody loves the dogwoods. pink and white and mm -hmm. red dogwoods with the big flowers. Yeah. This is a very early blooming dogwood that doesn't have the big showy um, out, outer petals mm -hmm. like your typical dogwood. This one is called Cornus Moss, which is, Cornus is the Latin name for dogwood. Moss is M-A-S. Just means um, Cornelian cherry dogwood is how it translates into to English. English okay. But this is the flower. It's just a, a, a small tree, That's very it. drought tolerant. I know it's not I quite as gonna, showy, yeah. but it's blooming right now. Out in the landscape, I mean, it looks these like are actually wrong with it, Richard, to be honest with you. Well, it's just a subtle kind of beauty. So you don't get leaves. You don't, well, you, no, you get leaves on oh, it later. Eventually oh, it gets okay. leaves. Yes. Oh, okay. This is what the flowers are actually doing outside right now. Yeah. So this is a really tough plant. But it doesn't yeah. get the big flowers like a regular dogwood. That's, okay. that's all right. So it's, like a, that. it's a good hardy small tree if you're looking for something. This one's called Golden Glory Cornus Moss. And then this is an unusual. Everybody loves these red twig dogwoods. Uh -huh. But this is one that has golden leaves. When the leaves come out, they'll be bright yellow. Uh -huh. And the leaves stay golden uh, uh, summer through the summer and into the fall. Uh -huh. And then when the leaves fall off, you've got these really cool red yeah, stems. Like this one's called Prairie Fire Red Twig Dogwood. adds a little color even yeah. when it doesn't have any foliage. These get about six to eight feet tall, so it's okay. a bushy shrub, shrub. And they are going to get a little flower on it. But again, this oh. dogwood flower is going to look a little bit more like this. Okay. Gotcha. Not real showy. But it's a good uh, hardy landscape shrub okay. if you're looking for a little gold and in your all landscape. all of these do well in this climate? They all do great in Kentucky. Talking about that, the bluegrass and Antique and Trust. Yeah, that Garden starts show. next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh -huh. I hear that you're going to be there Friday, and yeah. you're going to be there Friday I am. as well. So yes. hopefully, I'll see gonna you there. there. Yes. We're going to have a big garden display with all kinds of blooming uh, tulips and daffodils and hyacinths. And, and we can purchase. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, it's going to be a fun. Blooming onions. If you yeah. can make that happen. <laughs> hey, for more information, call Springhouse Gardens 859-224-1417 or log on to springhousegardens.com and you can also find them on Facebook. Richard, always good to see good you. Good to see you. See you next week at the show. Indeed. Want to take a break? Yeah, more LEX18 news at 1230 next.